everybody, and welcome to another episode of Preschool Prodigies. My name is Mr. Rob, and today we're playing a rhythm song about a snow day. If you have a drum, get out your drum. If you don't have a drum, you can follow along by tapping on your legs and clapping your hands. I'm playing on this small drum called a dune back today, and you guys can follow along. Let's start out with some nice, simple tapping and clapping. So follow me, ready? Tap, clap, tap. We're gonna sing a little song about the snow day and then we're gonna jump in playing some rhythm and you'll repeat after me, okay? Keep on tapping and clapping. Here's the song part. It's snowing out today, so let's go out and play. Sledding and building snowmen. School's out, hooray! Today's our snow day. Nice job, everybody. Give yourselves a huge round of applause. Great job playing with all these different rhythms here on our snow day. Let's talk about the rhythms we played in the song. So we start out with this blank space above me. And we call that blank musical space a measure. Can you say measure? Nice job. So we first split that measure into four little groups. We had four chunks of ice. Ice, 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 ice. And when we cut something into four pieces, we're cutting it into quarters. So if you imagine a pizza, and we cut that pizza in half, and then we cut it in half again, we're left with four little pieces. We call those quarters. That's why we call these musical notes quarter notes. That's the musical note, a quarter note, and four of them makes up our measure. Let's talk about the snowmen, which are the eighth notes. When we had only snowmens to play, let's see how many little snowmen we had. Did you count them? I counted eight snowmen. Did you count eight snowmen? Yeah, there are eight snowmen up there. Well, that's why we call those musical notes eighth notes, because it takes eight of them to fill up our whole musical space, our whole measure. That musical space, we call it a measure. What was the other rhythm we had today? Do you remember? It was kind of tricky to say, winter wonder. 
So how many winter wonders did we have? This one's a little bit tricky. Look up here though. One, two, three, four in the first group. Winter wonder. Then we had another group of four. So that'd be one, two, three, four. Then we have five, six, seven, eight. If we do that again, we get nine, 10, 11, 12. And then we do it one more time, 13, 14, 15, 16. When we have all of these winter wonders, we have 16 syllables. We're playing 16 little notes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I know that's tricky to count it, and it's easier if you just sing along. Winter wonder, winter wonder, winter wonder, winter wonder. So go back and practice that one again. You can see up here, if we stack all of our notes, that if you take the ice and you chop it in half, you get the snowman. If you take those snowmen and you chop those in half, then you get the winter wonder. This is how our rhythms work. We start with one note and it's a bit longer and then we break it into smaller pieces and even smaller pieces and even smaller pieces. If you wanna learn more about the rhythms, go into the Preschool Prodigies Playground, check out the rhythm chapter. There's lots of great stuff in there talking about quarter notes, whole notes, half notes, 16th notes, eighth notes, all of the different rhythms. I hope you had a lot of fun here today. And until next time, I will see you later, see you later, see ya, see ya later.